Well, I hope easy got your attention because easy is what we're going to be doing today. You can make this little one piece pocket. You can put a journaling spot in here or you can use it as a belly band or it cannot serve any purpose at all and just look pretty in your junk journal. You decide what you want to do with this. So I'll start off showing you how to make the cover for it. We're just going to make a blank. And then once you know how to make the blank, you can make this in as many styles as you like. Honestly, whatever you like, if you want to put it in any type of journal, you can make it work for that journal. You start off with a light cardstock. My method to do this is to fold it in half and then I just cut off that fold line. And that will give me two separate pieces. Now I'm going to use the scoreboard because this is a, a very light cardstock. It's easier to fold if you use the scoreboard. I'm just going to put that in my scoreboard and I'm going to do my first score on two and a half and I'm going to fold that over. Make sure your sides are level and I'm going to score just beside this cut line. Now I don't want it to be as wide as these notches so I'm just going to move it up a little bit and then score pretty close to it but not right on it and then fold that over as well. So it's just got to fold past there without that hitting the fold line. And then do the same again and fold it over. So there's three scores and three folds. Then I'm going to use my pencil to just mark the edge of that there. And I'm going to cut off just inside that pencil line. You can make this as wide as you like. You can have that coming closer to that fold line or you can make it just an inch wide. So that's optional how wide you have this flap here. All right, so we need to press down that fold line. If your cardboard's too heavy, this is where everything sort of starts to get very bulky. So now this left side is going to be where I cut my window out. So if you look at it like this, that is going to be my window piece there. Now to cut your window, have this bottom piece here and the long piece to the top. The border I'm using is three quarters of an inch down three quarters of an inch in and three quarters of an inch that way. But what I use is my tag templates. These are a clear template that you put down on whatever it is that you want to cut out and then you use your craft knife and you use these templates like a ruler and you just cut all the way around them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my template the biggest size, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to use the bottom and it makes a perfect window size for this particular project. You could use these on any project, they're not just for tags. So just place it where you think you want it. You've got to make sure it's straight across here. So I'm going to use my ruler to make sure that that is straight and I just cut it out. I'm cutting through two thicknesses so I'm only going to the corner. This just saves me measuring and once you get to here if if it doesn't cut all the way through just take your template away and then just finish cutting by hand. You can see much better when you can put your head right over the top of what you're cutting and then just take that all the way out. So that's what it should look like by now. Keep this little bit for the minute and what we can do is turn that into a little journaling area. These are my own design. I'll put a link to my shop in the description below.
Now the next thing to do is put the window in. I'm just using clear transparency film. I just cut strips off down to the size that I want. This one is approximately four inches by two and a half. Now when you cut your window out, you've got to make sure that it's very straight here because that's going to be your feature. And that straight line goes in there like that. That's going to be the edge of your card. And cut it so that it's a little bit short of that line there, that line and that line. All right, so now we're going to glue that window in. I'm using the Barely Art glue because it's really good for gluing down the acetate. So you've got to glue it down two sides. I'm gluing this one first. Making sure I've got my straightest side butted right into there. If it slips and slides around, just pick it up, straighten it up, and make sure that it's pulled right up into that fold line. Now we'll do the second side. I'm going to do the same again. Come around the edge, do my corners, and glue that down. Now this is in industrial strength glue, you don't need to put a lot of it on. That's just one single piece. If you wanted to sandwich something in that window, you definitely could. You just got to get your acetate and fold that over. So that's our blank base done. Now before I add a piece of ribbon on it, what I'll, I'll show you what I've done with this one here. I put a bit of snippet roll on here, but instead of just gluing it over the edge, which you sure can do, anything goes with junk journaling, right? So you can just come in now and put a bit of glue on the top of that and on the bottom of that and glue that down and that'll show up through the window there. But this one here, I actually glued it on before I, fold, uh, I closed the folds down. Either way will work out okay for you. If you're going to put a brad in your window, you pretty much got to decorate your window first. So I'm going to mark halfway where I want that to go. And I'm going to use my pokey tool and push a hole all the way through. And right through the acetate. I'm going to use these vintage brads. So if you've got anything that's got a little short leg on it, like that one's really long, use the short ones. They turn out much better. These were a happy mail from my friend Deb. Thanks, Deb. Right now for the ribbon. I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to fold that ribbon in half. I only need enough. Tie it around and tie a bow. So once you've put it on that way, I'm going to work out where the hole is, pick it up, and I'm going to pierce a hole through my seam binding. You can use ribbon or seam binding. This happens to be a piece of seam binding that I've just wet and crinkled up. Push that through and spread the bars on the back. And you then have this cute little ribbon to tie it up. Now I'll show you a second way you can put your seam binding on or ribbon. You don't have to use this bread method. This is just one way of doing it. You can get a piece of ribbon. You only want something light. The front is not glued down. I just put a little bit of fabric glue across the back here. And then I pressed it down really gentle. I never use my fingers to press down like that. I always press down really gentle so no glue comes through the ribbon. So that's another way you can fix the ribbon on these. Or you can just put a clamp on them. Remember this little card here where we cut out from the window? Now, if you want to put a journaling card or anything on the inside, you can put whatever you want in there. Because you've got a little tie here, 
you can make this into whatever you want it to be now there's a couple of ways that you can use this piece that you cut off that was in the window you can glue the back of it to there this one here I just used a tiny piece of an index card I put a machine stitch through here first and then glued the back down so that's just a one piece in there this one here I made it like a notepad style just you just want something very thin you don't want to overdo it and I just sewed that to the back here before I glued it to the back of my card All right so this one all I'm going to do is put a note in here I've done that off camera I've just used these old gold photo corners they're stickers and then once you've got them on the four corners you just stick that down so I can actually take this little note out and it's just as easy to put back in so when I'm gluing this down I want to make sure that it's level with the window so I'm only going to put some glue in the in the center here I'm going to work out around about where my window is doesn't matter that it doesn't come up to the to the sides I just want it to be parallel with there so I'll, I'll show you what I mean with this so if I use my ruler I want it to be the same height as my window there and there and that is not going anywhere so that's that one done with a cute little note in it I've called this a pocket because I don't really know whether or not to call it a pocket a trifold a booklet I'm not sure what to call it but anyway that's why I called it a pocket because it's pretty versatile I've got this little system that I done a video on I always know where my scraps are now so I just want to put a little notepad in here so I'll get out something that should work in here I've got heaps of lined paper now to, to make your notepad you can either glue these together at the top you could staple them or you could sew them so I'm just going to glue that in at the top here I love this system it is so good I know where everything is all the time I love it in the brown it looks so good but just make your base first and then from there you can just make any variation you want so I'll just show you some other designs and just briefly tell you how I done each one now this one here I've made like a little notebook so I've got the front here I've decorated my window with rub on I've put a pocket on this page here and just put some tickets in it now this page here that we normally fold over that way I've used the three hole pamphlet stitch if I close that down and turn it over when I folded it back the other way I've made a few journaling pages on that so you get that so instead of it being that way I turned it that way so it's like a never-ending journal so you go that way and then when you turn it over that way it's a little journal and that that one turned out really cute there's even enough room to put little embroidered or crocheted embellishments so I'm just using a little bit of fabric glue on the back of this cross I'm making a consignment Bible journal so this will be going in that so just a lovely little surprise when you open up you can have your window facing that way or facing that way it's up to you which way you fold your trifold and put your embellishments in the window this one here I've just put a little Tim Holtz clip on it and I've got a journaling card in it 
it's sort of like a belly band. You can put it at the front or you can push it into the back. This one here, I've used the rub-ons on the window. I haven't glued down the seam binding. I've coloured that with Distress Ink and just crushed it. This one's got nothing on the inside, but how pretty is that? This one I've made in a vintage style. So I've got a, a Tim Holtz mini paper clip on that. And this one's just a little card. So if you want to give a thank you card to someone, when you send a happy mail, just leave the note on the back of your card. Thank you for this card, Christine. That is a sticker, that flower. This one I've just used a normal paper clip and it's got the little notepad there. This one's got a shorter tab on the front to the others where I've made it a lot wider. So you can make that wide there or you can make it narrow. This is just inspiring you to give you some ideas that you might get started on. So this one's just pretty much a blank. I've got a tag out and I've put that in there so that I can just see it in the window. You know, like I could put a flatter paper clip on that and just pop that in a pocket in my journal. So it just looks good for it as an embellishment. This one here I'm using sort of like a belly band. I've put vellum in the window. I've used a vintage stationery brad and the black seam binding. And that's just a tag and I'm using it like a belly band. There's, I haven't glued the bottom so you know you could glue the bottom and turn it into a pocket. And I've just got that as a journaling card and put one of my DIY tickets on it. This one here I've just slipped a little journal card in there. You could use washi tape and turn that into a flip if you didn't want it falling out. Or you can use it belly band style and just tie your ribbon up. These are little weeds from my garden that I've just laminated and I've just got them shown off in the window. I love these dried flowers. I think they look pretty good. And this one is also the dried flower. These are weeds from my yard as well. I can't say garden because I don't really have a garden. But this is just the little journaling card. One piece machine sewn onto the window part that I cut out. And that's that one nice and simple with just a, a basic narrow ribbon tie. Dogs will be howling in the early morning light. All are happy to be out in the ending of the night. Welcome of the dawn. The trees they are singing. Tune of a song, and the wind is gently ringing. The bell that brings the morning, welcome of the dawn. Though the warm days are over, they are not forever gone. Like the dust brings the night, the summer brings the fall, it won't be long till harvest comes, morning breaks, welcome of the dawn. Daylight is calling, welcome.